All right, guys, welcome back to the back nine, 2022 Ring the Bell. Kyle, great front nine. What are you looking for out of the back? Lots of hot scores. This back is a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. You got to score. You got to score. We got you at the top of the lead, minus 10. David, minus 9. Willie Douglas, minus 8. We got a bunch of players. That's going to bring us to hole 10, 500, par 4. This is a great starting back nine hole. What do you got? Yep, another hole that kind of off the tee, you're a little restricted as to what you can do with some of the trees. So it's basically get your three. You know, it'd be cool if you could reach the basket. Like 500 feet isn't that hard for distance, but just the way that some of these trees come into play. Yeah, you got to get sneaky through this gap. And I think you do a little pruning here. Yeah, I touch a tree. Like I said, like it's, you know, the 500 feet of distance isn't that hard. It's just where the trees come into play is that's the challenge. Yeah, you're still in great position there. This is yeah. Josh's drive just a little too inside. Watch out, Teresa. Oh, my goodness. This poor girl. Who put yeah, her out doing, there? She's doing great. Shout out to Teresa. Catch cam. That was a great shot. Here's James going back to. I think this is some kind of champ destroyer, possibly. This is a good rip. Yeah, this is nice. See, he's not any. He's not testing those trees. He's keeping in the middle of the fairway. Just nice, simple upshot. Here's David going to this force that he loves, and this is gonna prune as well. I think. No, oh, no. Just the tree now. The force has that little extra yeah, stability where it's gonna hyzer oh. out in front of. But like, here's your upshot. Difficulty is the slope on the green, but you know the grass is long enough. It's not super fast. You just kind of throw it and let it get up to it. Soft harp alert. Yep, there it is. It just goes, hits, and sits. Roll away is a chance there, though, if that takes a bad skip. Yes. No, this green is hard. Um, you really want to control the angle you're approaching at. There's that purple zone. Purple zone. And we got a couple zones here. And that's the glow zone. And a little know, sawed off there. Yeah, yeah this Dave will was not happy. Zone. A little longer than oh. he wanted to, and I think he was shaking off that, that previous shot. Yeah. That's a tough, tough one. See, taking the four here definitely feels like a bogey, um, especially when the rest of your card is parked for the birdie. Momentum is in your favor. Back-to-back -back yeah, birdies. Gun. You're feeling it. Yeah, back-to-back -back birdies. Um, you know, I just picked up a couple of strokes on Dave, petting two holes, three strokes and two holes, so I'm feeling really good. Are you looking at the scorecard as we're playing? Right now, no. I know I am. I'm having a good time. That's going to bring us to hole 11, 250 feet, right past this kind of graveyard of tee pads here. You can choose any of these gaps, right? It's all oh. what makes the most sense. Yeah, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable in, backhand through this big gap, the, the drone is flying in, you go forehand through earlier gaps, but you got to avoid those two hazard sand bunkers. That's It's tricky because you cannot see them at all off the tee. This looks like your anvil here. Would that be correct? It, that is correct. It is my VIP anvil. And oh. almost rung it up there. That's a great shot. I mean, Teresa said it was close, but that's really close. It's really close. James getting a little too low on this one and unfortunately bounces in that hazard. It's, it's so easy to find it. They're just perfectly placed. They put the basket right in between them where they definitely come into play. And we got... Josh making, a, I guess, the good mistake of hitting a tree and landing much shorter than where those bunkers are. And I think David kind of compensating on that and just going kind of way over here. Yeah. Way past, but that's fine. Yep, that's a safe shot. It's definitely not the shot that he wanted because he wants to be parked. This is a hole 250 feet. You should be getting that too, but those hazards, they're very tricky. And we got a lot left here for David. A little step putt, kind of a half run there. It's got to sit. Oh, my. That That's was nice. too close. Me. Scaring me. And Out of here's the James Parr putt. It's a tough one. I think it's the sand footing. The I sand agree. footing is tough. Yeah, it was hard to film in the sand. Do Something about the sand. It's not favorable. No. Another great birdie out of you. Yeah, that one felt great. That was a good redemption birdie from the first round. And we got some shift now. All of a sudden, you were three. You got three on the lead. Yeah, you got three there. And, you know, unfortunately, we don't see what the other cards are doing. But, but you know, you got to gotta assume that people are scoring well here. Another signature hole on this course. This hole is rad. Hole 12, 230. I think it's a lot more than that. Elevation oh. up these beautiful stairs. Really cool hole. Yeah, so, so elevated. I'll, the entire hillside is out of bounds. There's a bunker over to the right. There's just so much happening here. You just got to throw it up high, elevate it, spike hyzer, and 
the miss is to the left and deep. What disc was that out of you? That was the Omen. Omen. Love yeah. it. Yeah, right outside circle there. That was a great shot. Yep. It's up there. That's kind of all I'm looking for. I threw it into the bunker before. This shot was looking awesome. Yeah, great shot. Great roll. And that's parked. Yeah, great reaction right there. Here's David going back to that force, ESP force. And similar height, but just a little more inside. This is that miss you were talking about. Yep, that's a nice miss. It's going to be a really hard putt, putting towards the hazards and OB, but you're giving it yourself, giving it to yourself. And I wasn't sure this was enough from James, but this is perfect. That went right past the basket. He's got that sneaky glide where you think it's going to drop down, but it just keeps going for another 20 feet. And David says, basket, will you catch this for me? Oh. Yep. What a catch. What a putt. Off the band and in. That's one of the best feelings when you get away with that. Yeah, I love that. He played it off. He was a cool. That was a good putt. We'll give it to him. Yeah. Josh with it. It's, it's tough to putt with all that scenery behind. I mean, yeah. it's like looking at a painting. Yeah. Oop. And you were Oops. looking at the painting. It's, yeah. It's I not mean, easy. No. No, no, no. You just lose focus for a second and then. Sure. Great putt for Josh. Yeah, Great really birdie. Good. All right, so you focus back in for this par putt. Yeah, you need the focus. There you go. JK Aviar still? JK Aviar. There we go. Fun hole. This can definitely be a, you know, with OB there, it can be some score swinger, but that's a good one. Yep. It's going to bring us to hole 13. Now we're going down the hill, 340 feet. Elevation way down, down, down. Really cool hole here. What's the plan? This hole is all about your distance control because it is really easy to go super deep and go OB. And it's also really easy to saw it off and go short into the woods. So if you can get something to kind of go out, get to the point where it gets around and then drop, it's a good shot. So you want that hyzer there, swing it out, but I think Josh, a little too much hyzer is right in that kind of front bush line. Yeah, he didn't quite push it out deep enough before it did the stall. David making the correction. This is looking real good. Oh, yeah, that is, that is really nice. A great little reaction off that hillside. Yeah, it's parked. And this is that anvil. Yeah, the anvil from a standstill. Just pushing it out wide enough and trusting the stability of the disc to bring it back. And you walked it off. You knew that was great, right? Yeah. Right it, out of the hand. You know, it's, this is one of those shots where it's all feel. You can't Eesh. see the basket. You don't know. So you just got to feel how it goes. James going a little too wide here. Works if you do something a little speedy, but he's, he'll have a good amount left. Yeah. But that works. Yeah, you know, it's it's scary because you're throwing something and you don't know whether how fast it's going to start fading, whether it's just going to turn over and keep going straight into the OB and be lost forever. This is casual here for Josh, but he's got himself. That was it's a good a tough one. one. He definitely had a very hard stance. He was in that thick brush. Couldn't really get momentum. Ooh. Wow. Dead center on that one. He felt that one. He needed it. That looked good right out of the hand, and he knew it. He's pumped up. Yep. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, these are a couple of easy birdies. Definitely a birdie hole. You want to get that birdie. Just got to play smart. Yep. Yeah, throwing the correct disc for the line is huge. <laughs> that anvil is doing work for you. Can I have that one? Nope. Okay. That's going to bring us to hole 14. This is another really cool signature horse. This <laughs> signature hole. This course has a lot of signature holes. <laughs> 380 downhill. This is super, super downhill. Distance control is tough. Angle control, mm -hmm, how do you play? Mm -hmm. This one, you kind of just want to hang something out nice and wide and let it hyzer right at the pin. If you're at any point in the air over the top of the pin, you're definitely going to be way too far left, so you really got to trust. This course has a lot of trust built into your shots, and if you can trust your line, you're going to do well. And that was David's quake. You're going back to that anvil that we love. Good. I like the way you started this out wide, but look how much turn. Yeah, there was some wind that kind of picked it up and pushed it over to the side. But it's still playing. That should be, you know, very routine par. Here's James if not a birdie. Effortless power here. There is a OB long. Yeah. Yes. So there's OB work. long. There's OB left. There's OB right. There's a lot of danger. And OB short. Sure. Josh is going to show us this OB long, unfortunately. Just gets a little too much air underneath it. Yeah, he actually didn't know that was there. He kind of threw it and we're like, you know, there's OB deep, right? He's like, oh, no. He just let it get away from you. Yeah. Hard not to just let it rip when you're up there. Just let it fly. Right, you want to throw it so hard. Good run on David there. Yep, good bid. 
And I think a lot of kind of sneaky wind on this hole, though it doesn't seem it's kind of like a bowl, right? So all the wind yeah. just gathers. It's and a moves. bowl and just everything's kind of dead and around and, you know, where you're standing is a little different than where the basket is and you just get weird pockets. I think that's what we saw there. Kind of got lifted. Yep. You got a lot left there. Yeah. The This was like the first basket where you could really feel wind and I was like, oh, let's really snap it and really push it through and did something completely different than the entire round putting. It was like, this just doesn't feel right. Like, what are you doing? I think you're just trying to make it interesting. That's my personal thing, but yeah, yeah you won't have that. Yeah. Good bar there out of James. Unfortunate bogey there from Josh. You're going to take a bogey here as I well. didn't want Josh to feel bad taking the only bogey. That's what we're looking at. You know, I'm a nice guy. It's right? getting close again. Here we go. That's going to bring us to hole 15, 395. We're throwing out of a beach bunker here. This yeah. is a cool tee pad. Cool. Really cool pad. Very interesting green. Baskets on a slope and protected by a lot of branches. The hillside here does not let discs stick. It likes to push them back out and away. This is David's bonsai here. Starting it out wide, bonsai. letting it swing in. And really nice shot. Just stuck up in those bushes there. Into That'll push. James going back to this yellowy champy something or other. Yeah, that looks nice. And check out this bounce. Oh, He just grinded oh. that tree. Let's take another yes, look at this. please do. Just he's look been, at this glide. He's been playing some Tony, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. He Ooh. just... And then this ends up nice and nestled on the What way. a cool shot. He call, I heard him call that before he threw it, so in case you're wondering. Stud. What are you going here, Kyle? This is the omen. Just trying to go real big spike hyzer, hit it up, let it spike into the hill so it's kind of dying there. Yeah. Kind of does. Yeah. Josh going to, I think, a destroyer or something speedier. And he just starts to hyzer out a little too much. As long as it doesn't go on that path, that's fine. It's a very helpful tree. This is, you know, 35, 40 feet. You went for it, though. Yeah, right. and there's OB path right behind it, so you really get to watch the pace you're coming in from that angle, and it does love rolling away. Good run out of Josh there, too. And so David... There he is. ...in a full bush of poison ivy. Oh, my. What Great putt. And then watch his hair flip at the end. Oh my. So handsome. That's a statement hair flip there. He says there's we're tied at the lead. Yep. Check out my hair. Mm-hmm. Great par out of you. Yeah, that was a trickier putt than I really should have made it, but it's gonna put you guys both at minus twelve. It's a battle. <sighs> it's a hot score. This is fun to watch. Really good birdie out of James here. That's gonna bring us to hole sixteen where anything can happen. Three ten. We got OB on this creek here. Lots and lots of trees. Yeah, this is this hole is extremely specific for its line, where they want you to throw. I don't understand what the exact gap is. Where I choose to throw, I'm go, going out over OB, over bunker, and over the OB river through the basket. Stay tuned, folks. And I thought this was too low out of David. Unfortunately, yeah, gets right in that. Bunker. Yeah, and that there's the OB creek, and you know. It's a tough shot. Like, that's a great shot that's getting penalized. Yep. Almost this. kind of a half layup out of James there, but that'll yeah. work. You're kind of just throwing and either hitting the tree and dropping or missing and getting over that creek. And this, to me, was the shot of the tournament. You're going all for it here. Yeah, I knew at this point I had to do something special. I know we're tied. I know in the next couple holes, this is the only place to really score. Parked. Nobody else is doing that today. No one else. No, there's not a lot of players that have that kind of big spike hyzer forehand. And you're pumped up. You knew it there. And then on the flip side, Josh is laying up with a putter here. Probably smart. Yeah, you, know, like you, you can piece this hole into different parts and just play for the par. You can try to do something where you get lucky, or you can try to do something stupid and try to park it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So David kind of figuring out where he went out, where he can take relief. Big yeah. putt here for him. You can see your disc right in his face. Yep. Yeah, and he's he's frustrated. You know, he had a good shot. He thought he stopped, and it just kept gliding into that OB. Definitely unfortunate. Can't believe where your disc landed up there. That's yep. a that's a tap in. Beautiful bird. Yeah, and I never even came close to doing that in practice. So glad it worked. 
But I was there. I know I saw you practice that shot. So yep. practice pays off. It's going to bring us to hole 17, 270, low, low, low ceiling, hard hyzer to the left. Yeah. Anything plays here. Yeah, well, anything except for a spike hyzer. You cannot go up. You cannot elevate. You have to keep a shot low, and it has to be penetrating. I don't get it. I know they're going to move this basket, which I'm really happy they will. But, man, the angle that it is right now is not good. Got a little score check in there. You got one on Willie going in through 16, and you're going to a roller here. Yeah, backhand cut roller, figuring why not get a little weird and try something. And It worked out pretty well. It's given me a punt. It Definitely. just didn't hold the angle. So with a little bit more stability would have been a better choice. I did see you practice that, too, as well. So pays off. Yep. And this is a little too straight out of James. This is the play that you're going to see a lot of players throw. Something just go out and give yourself a putt. Josh here is like, well, let's check this out. Ac and Josh says, actually, oh, I'm going to take happened. my Firebird. <laughs> it hit a branch. It. Yep. it hit a little one of those nubs and pushed it over, which is parked. Parked. So that's how you play the hole. You throw it into the branches and park it. Yeah, David a little kind of shook up from the last hole, I think. It's a little too low, but this will just be a nice up and down here. Yeah, David checked the scores. He saw that, he, all right, so he's losing to me by two, and he saw that Willie was actually up there and tied with me. So he's like, all right, I got to try to do something. So interesting out of you, are you laying this up purposely? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. you're checking the score. You know what's going on. I At this point, I haven't checked. I know I'm beating Dave. Yeah, baby. Um, I don't know where any other competitors at. We got some interesting drama. This is good. It's going to mm -hmm. bring us through. So good par out of David there. Solid par out of you. Good par out of James. That's going to bring us to hole 18, the finishing hole. A great yeah. finishing hole. 640 par four. Eagles Ooh. in play. Birdies a must, right? Yeah. You, this is like the distance isn't a problem. It's it just the out of bound playing the wind correctly and then making sure you throw a correct upshot, getting the pace correct as, as it hits this green, it's sitting. So right now through 17, you and Willie are tied. Yes. And are you looking at the score? Do you know this? I know I'm tied with Willie. I know he has hole one to play, and I know I have 18 to play. Wow. Everybody banks on 18 and getting the birdie. Nobody is banking on hole one to get a birdie. So I know I have to put a drive where I can put myself into a nice simple upshot to get the birdie. And kind of get smashed down a little here, but that'll that'll work. Yep, yeah, it's a little bit shorter than what I'd really liked. I put it deep of the basket the first round, but, you know, that's going to be in play. It's an upshot. It's going to give me a chance to get that birdie. And James says, hey, by the way, guys, hole 18, I can smash. Check oh. this out. Uh, like th <laughs> that is just how you play it. You give it a little bit of height. Let it glide. Let the disc do the work. David kind of turns over this force a little too much. Yeah, he definitely forced it. <laughs> Good one. I don't know what I think of that. Mm -hmm. And not an easy up shot here. He's got to turn this over, and it's got to sit right away. Oh, oh, up and has a little more left than he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, so he was in that position where he had to make things work, whereas someone like me who's in the driver's seat can just play your game. So you know you need a birdie here, yep. soft harp, your go-to, yep. and you yep. park it. Yeah. I, I know what I had to do. I knew what was the situation. I knew I could play a safe shot, hit early, let the disc go down that slope to the basket instead of hitting where the basket is and going deeper and further away. I mean, you make it sound easy, but that was textbook. You, yep. you know what you had to do, and you executed. Great shot. Yep, good off shots there. Big putt out of David here. <clears throat> he good did. Run. He contemplated laying up or going for it. Josh with a little yes, left here. Good, yes. nice. Sneaks that bar in. Way to finish. Good, strong putt to finish right there. So big birdie here. You don't know how Willie's going to finish, but you know you need this birdie yep. for a possible win. Great yep. putt. That was a must make. And you're pumped up. You know what's going on. We just got to see how Willie does, but you got it. Again, knowing how hole one plays, very confident. I knew Willie's a great player. He's a phenomenal player. I know my distance is better than his, so it has to be this throw-in. Let's check out this birdie bid from Willie. And he ran it. He knew what he had to do. Unfortunately, he missed it. And throw first it down the place. For the call. Shooting a combined 104 for the day. Taking home 500 big smackaroos. Kyle Moriarty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
uh, I rang a lot of bells today with a lot of birdies, but huge shout out to Pat for TDing. This is awesome. TDs do not get enough respect anywhere, so thank you so much for what you do. Appreciate it. Thank you to the course designers out here. I played here on Thursday, and it looked totally different today than it was there, so thank you for all the work that you did, making all of those hazards extremely clear. It's awesome. This place is great. The course is getting better and better. The tee pads are awesome out there. Can't wait to see what this gold course is gonna become. Definitely one of Connecticut's finest courses. Thank you to my sponsors, the Disc Golf Bra, the man right self. It's on camera, check it out on YouTube. Probably in like five days, cause they kill it. Uh, Thought Space Athletics, great discs. And then Good Sports Disc Golf down in Virginia doing great things for people who have autism, making sure they have jobs, making sure they have great quality lives. So thank you everybody. You guys are all the real winners that we're all here. Thanks Willie for not two and one. <laughs> Absolutely awesome win. Congratulations. That was incredible. How do you feel after that one? Ah, it's a great one. That was a great win. That was a huge statement win coming back from uh, from the preserve and coming back. It was the first tournament back. Start of the weekend off right. Absolutely. Congratulations. You did us proud. Great win. This was fun to watch. Guys, thanks so much for checking this out. Kyle, thanks for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.